Hi everybody, I'm Rhonda. And I'm Joe. And we're RVing with the Maracas. Yeah. Um, just wanted to, this is our third video about our New Hampshire trip this past summer. Actually, we're still in the summer, but it was actually in June. And we're very um, excited to show you this last part. We learned a lot on this trip. We learned about driving in the Northeast, oh. which was very intense, but we did it. We had never driven the RV up in that area before, and we really learned a lot. Um, we really enjoyed it up there in the summertime. The weather was so much cooler, and it was so nice. And we've been back in Florida this whole month of July, and it has been hot. I am ready to be a reverse snowbird and spend my winters up, um, excuse me, spend my summers up north. Yes, yeah, where it's a little cooler. Yeah, we spent, I don't remember exactly, but say four or five nights boondocking without hookups. And in South Carolina, or yeah, the mm -hmm. top of South Carolina, we stayed somewhere where we were able to plug in. Mm -hmm. But north of there, we spent several nights without hookups and we were okay with just a fan and, mm -hmm. you know, we didn't need the air conditioning. But from certainly South Carolina down, you got to have air conditioning all night. Yeah, we actually used the heat a few times, I believe, yes. in, in uh, New Hampshire because it was kind of cold for us. Yeah, but it was really it was a great trip. We really learned a lot. So um, we're excited to um, share this last part of our video and we hope you enjoy it. Well, we're harvest hosting in Portsmouth, New Hampshire at this big brewery. Really nice. I mean, they got a couple big spaces here for RVers. We're the only ones here tonight, so should be pretty good. It's a little noisy. There must be a highway right there, and I know in this direction is the airport, but it'll be just fine. It's nice and quiet. Hey, we are here at Portsmouth, New Hampshire. We're at a state park. I think it's Ordian State Park. Um, we're going to walk around a little bit. It's about 8 o'clock in the morning. Still really, really foggy. but And it smells like the tide is out. So it looks like people have made little sculptures along the rocks here. It's pretty neat. So we're walking out to the ocean. Joe's going through um, the rocks carefully. And I'm following him. Can't film much because I might fall down. So gotta go. Love my new water shoes. They're so cool. They actually have good tread on the bottom and they're working out really well for this. More of the coats coastline from Portsmouth, uh, New Hampshire. It's really cool. It's just so foggy this morning, um, but the coastline is pretty cool here. Well, it's foggy, dark, dismal. Portsmouth, <laughs> Portsmouth Beach. We're coming up on Hartford, Connecticut. Well, now we're stopped on 84 in Hartford. We should get paid to drive on this. All right, this is our first night at a Cabela's parking lot. Really nice. Nice little monsoon. So we're near Waynesboro, Virginia. We're going toward our campground, 340 campground. Um, we're looking forward to it. Um, it's really pretty mountainous area here. Who are you guys? Is this really a video? Who are you guys? Oh, no. <laughs> Better not be on YouTube. Just a snapshot. <laughs> That's what I said. Who put that out there? Okay. So here's Rhonda sitting there playing with her phone at the campground. 
Rhonda really liked the purple cow theme of this campground. After leaving, we drove to South Carolina for a repeat stay at Cartersville Country Winery. Well, we're leaving the winery. This is our last stop. So today we make it back home after, I don't know, 16, 17 days, whatever we counted. It was a good convenient spot. And being in the south, it was good to have electric for the air conditioning. Getting close to Florida. Today we're going to add some states to our map. Um, we were excited. We went to New Jersey with our RV and camped there in our first KOA campground. And um, we've actually been to New Jersey many, many times, but this was the first time we spent time there in our RV. So we're going to add this to our map. We stayed at this incredible Harvest Host Roses Berry Farm in Connecticut. It was one of the nicest nights we had. So we're going to add Connecticut to our map. We've been to New Hampshire a few times and just draw, flying in and staying there. But this last summer we spent um, five or six days in New Hampshire. It's a beautiful state. We love the weather in the summertime. So we'll get to add this to our map. We stayed in Pennsylvania at a Cabela's um, boondocking with our Battleborn batteries. It was very exciting. A very nice place to stay. Been to Pennsylvania many times, but this was our first time in the RV spending the night there. So we are going to add this to our map. We have spent lots of time in Virginia, but this past summer was the first time camping there. Um, we stayed um, and visited with Joe's cousins. Had a wonderful time, so we're excited to add this to our map. So we have nine states so far um, that we've taken the RV to. Very excited. We have a, a really fun trip planned in late September, October, where we're going to do a really long trip again. Um, so more to come on more states. Some bigger states. Mm -hmm. Not those little ones. Yes. Thanks for watching. Follow along with RVing with the Moroccans for more of our adventures. Be sure and hit the subscribe button if you have not already and like the video if you liked it or and give us some comments below. Um, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks.